I want to show this slide, which shows some of the Nobel Prize winning uh, partnerships. They range from us, we're the longest ones, 39 years. You know, it's not fair. Corey and Corey were married to each other. I think the primary benefit of the event for us is the ability of our trainees to witness firsthand an individual who is essentially an inspiration to all of us. His example of collaboration that he showed and emphasized and that came out so naturally in his entire talk. If I'm speaking and Joe is in the audience, you should all notice that he's never drinking water. <laughs> he really made it seem that it was possible and something that I'll think about even more and hopefully one day could engage in because it clearly has so much potential for creating wonderful science and really solving major problems. You know, it is not uncommon for two people to work together to produce the work uh, that is recognized by a Nobel Prize. And, and I, I just urge you all to think about it. I'm, I'm glad that you're here because I think that young students and trainees, it's, it's really helpful for us to have role models. And I think you know, we, we learn a lot from your story and, and Joe's story. We couldn't have predicted any of this. And I, and I have to say that we didn't go into it with the idea that somehow if we solve this problem, we're going to cure a disease. We just, it was just curiosity. One of the very important lessons that Mike uh, teaches us is that uh, a dedication and commitment uh, always win the day. Michael is, is a tremendous scientist with a great wealth of knowledge and he, is, he shared that knowledge over the, the last two days during the event, both at the University of Pennsylvania and here at the Wilmington site. This is the feedback mechanism that allows cells to acquire cholesterol when they need it and to turn off the sources of cholesterol when they don't need it. And that's what Joe and I basically shared the Nobel Prize for. This is an opportunity to get people exposed to the, the what and the why in a little bit more depth to emphasize that this is why we invest in science. This is why we invest in research. In order to really get the very important innovations, I do believe that you need to do it in partnership. Academics need the pharmaceutical companies because they're going to produce the medicines that are going to help our patients. Pharma needs academic physicians because they understand disease better than uh, anybody. What we've done over the, our whole career is, is to just start with something and then dig deeper and deeper and deeper. Not Just don't be satisfied with one observation. Well, this is the, the best that science gets. This is high quality, terrific work. And from basic research to show that out of this came life-saving medicines, what a wonderful you know, portrayal of science and what we do. I'm eternally grateful to this university for making it possible for me to have the kind of fun that I've had over the last 39 years. I wish all of you the same kind of luck. Thank you very much. <laughs>